Spider-Man, thank you for coming. I'm looking for my grandpa Earl. He kept talking about meeting someone here, and now he's gone, and... Can you please help me find him? Any clues on where he might be? Just this picture. He was staring at it all morning. Hmm. This looks familiar. Some kind of exhibit. This looks like it was taken 60 years ago. Around the same time of year, too. I'll find him. Don't worry. Please hurry. He gets confused. <laughs> had some animal in the background. Maybe an exhibit? Hmm. No grandpa. Let's see what I can find. Those flowers by the sea lion pool. Is something else there? My wonderful Earl. Yep, this is him. Hey, I didn't find your grandpa yet. But I did find a note for him. It name drops a botanical garden. My grandparents used to take weekend walks through the botanical gardens. That has to be where he is. I'm so close. I have to find Grandpa. If I can figure out what's in the inhaler, I could probably create a trail leading to Grandpa.
Hey, your grandpa isn't at the gardens. But I was able to create a trail using his inhaler. That should lead me right to him. Oh, no, really? Please hurry. He needs that thing like he needs lungs. <sighs> Lately, I've been so busy. Sometimes taking care of him felt like a thing I had to do. But the thought of losing him... All I want is to sit with him. What's wrong with me? Don't be so hard on yourself. But trying to keep responsibility straight is tough. Trust me. I get it. You're doing your best. Found him by the lake. I'll hang with him until you get here. You did? I'm on my way. Stay right there. Hey there, sir. Spider-Man? Whatever you think I did, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Your granddaughter's looking for you, sir. Granddaughter? Oh. Well... Tell her I'll be back in a minute. I propose to my wife here. Right here, where we sit. Man, you're making the rest of us look bad. How'd you ask? First off, we had to go to the zoo. Never met a soul who loved animals more than that woman. I was terrified. I meant to ask her at the meerkats. She said they reminded her of me, but my knees were knocking, man. I couldn't see straight. We left the zoo and just kept walking. Ended up here. She... <laughs> if you saw her, man, just perfect. But clumsy. Nearly fell into that pond there. <laughs> Face first. You ever been in love, Spider-Man? I, uh, <laughs> maybe. It's beautiful. Nothing more beautiful. Can I tell you something, Spider-Man? I know I'm fading. It's scary as hell. Thought I'd be ready, but nothing gets you ready. Nothing. When I'm here, it's like she is too. Like I'm living it all over again. All nervous and sweating and whatnot. Then I look into her eyes and... It's like I'm home. I was so nervous that day, Spider-Man. Almost didn't even ask. It's like I blinked. And she's gone. I'm sorry. You said my granddaughter was looking for me? Let's go see her. I should have guessed you'd come here. Sorry we lost track of each other. It was my fault for wandering off. But Spider-Man took good care of me. Had a nice chat about your grandma. Oh, yeah? She used to love this spot, huh? I feel like I spent every weekend here with her, feeding the back.
Don't doubt it. I don't know much. bad. You gotta hand it to New Yorkers. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to be funny there. If there's a good time to be had, they'll find it. Sand crystal. More Marco memories scattered all over New York. Does anyone have sunscreen? And will one of you do my back, please? They won't give up! Crystal time. I find them, and they're waiting for me with all sorts of weapons. What the hell have I walked into? Good weapons? Whoever they are, they definitely read up on Marco. Chief. Thanks for coming. We've managed to set our explosives in every zone except the last one. The demo crew's in there. There's four of them. I'll find them. 
Just keep your radios open. And make sure nobody touches that detonator. No. Spiderbot can search faster in there than I can. Your time to shine, little guy. Make Spidey Daddy proud. All right. I find the people, Clark gets them out. I just sent over? Our team's moving in now. Thanks. Spider-Man's here. Um, time to test out my pulse blast then. any time now. Just came in. We'll head right over once we finish getting Mr. Robleski out. What are those breathing exercises again? location I sent you away? Heading there now. There's only one other worker left inside. Hurry, Spider-Man. Leave it to me. I had a few minutes to go. Purple jacket. Make sure you help them. Hey, Clark. I just sent a new location your way. But this guy said someone else is still trapped in here. Really? I'm not missing anyone else. But if you can find them, we'll get them out. I'm on. Here. Thank <laughs> you. 
can't stop all of them. Now keep looking for supplies. We'll need them in the days ahead. Ah. Uh... in the flame i just i just wanted out then you should have remembered we all go out the same way we come in painfully Eternal. Thanks. So what's your deal? There you are. my smoking. Yuri. Little lives call me Wraith. Fits pretty well, I think. If I tried... Where have you been? No time. What about them? They made their choice. This will be a new record. And they said it couldn't be done. Looks like Yuri took off. But she'd just need some time after what happened with Hammerhead. But coming back with that suit and a name like Wraith, I should keep an eye on her and the other on these cultists. I need more eyes.
Hey, what's up? Just wanted to let you know that I talked to Gloria, and Beast is gonna send a donation truck to the house tomorrow for the rest of May stuff. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to go through everything by then. Could you cancel that? I promise I'll donate it all myself as soon as I'm finished with... everything. I'll call him right now. Shouldn't you guys be in an hourglass or something? Gotta get that sand crystal! Clear now. You're circling me, Mia. Oh, wishing I just stayed home with you, Kimia. Helped you with your homework. Made you the one meal that I know how to cook. But it's too late now. Kimia is Marco's daughter. How did I not know he was a dad? Check back in on Marco. He's steadily improving. Making more and more sense. He's even eating again. Doctors are hopeful. It could work. Wow. I was wondering what this place was. You made it! I thought you said this was a startup. Yeah, I was hoping for something a little less... this. But my dad was the one who, you know, he made all the arrangements. Peter and... Parker! <laughs> so, what do you think? It's a far cry from that chop shop that Otto had you in. And now that you're on board, this place is really going to start cooking. Uh, Dad, Pete hasn't decided he's joining yet. Oh. Really? But I was going to give him a tour. Let him decide for himself. All right. You know, seeing you boys together again. <laughs> right then. Have fun. Get your badge out. Let's go exploring. <laughs> so the first thing I want to show you is downstairs. Harry, this... Place, right? Dad went a little more over the top than I would have liked. How did you... He got things set up while I was still undergoing treatment, but when I got out, I made a few changes. Like what? Diverted my salary into research projects, installed a diverse board to keep us on the right track, and made sure all research aligned with our mission. To heal the world. First, I want you to meet Dr. Young, who's a leading entomologist. You know what entomology is. Yeah. Dr. Young is doing this super cool research on bees. Or, to be more precise, on bee predators. Here, follow me. Ready to talk to Dr. Young? You must be Peter. So nice to meet you. I think you'll like this project. 
Great to meet you, Dr. Young. Harry says you're working with bees. Yes, and it's quite an urgent situation. A full third of the food you eat every day comes from crops pollinated by bees. But worldwide populations are in steep decline, primarily due to a significant predator. A carnivorous bee wolf. So, we developed an innovative way to help the bees. Wanna see how? Whoa, this is cool! These little drones are essentially bee bodyguards that we're training to detect and attack bee wolves. AKA, bee killer wasps. And you're helping with the machine learning algorithm. Do you see those little holographic bee wolves? And the better you are at shooting those, the better our drones get at recognizing what to target. The idea is for the drones to scare the bee wolves away, not hurt them. Oh, nice! Yes! Those virtual bee wolves you just took out were real, you'd have saved the lives of about 2,500 bees. Wow. I'd love to help any way I can. I could take a look at juicing the neural network speed. Oh, yes, please. Maybe if Pete decides to join us, you two can talk some more. Thanks, Dr. Young. I've got so much more to show you, Pete. Let's go. Now, up ahead is the medical research area. We're doing cutting-edge proton beam work, using protons instead of x-rays, with better targeting and less radiation. It's all the stuff we talked about. All the stuff we dreamed could make the world a better place. That's the idea. <laughs> Harry! A moment, if you please. Uh, any chance I can wait a sec? It'll be quick. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, Doc, this is my friend Peter. Peter, Dr. Connors. We've actually met. I used to work with Dr. Octavius. You came to the lab once to consult on electrotactile stimuli. Oh. Yes. It's a shame about Dr. Octavius. His work had so much promise. Any changes since this morning? Dizziness, aches, pains, anxiety, impulsive thoughts. <laughs> nope. I've never been better. That's what worries me. Nice to see you again. Your doctor is the lizard. Dad believes in second chances. Hey, listen, I gotta go make a call. But, uh, feel free to explore. Come meet me upstairs when you're ready. So that was crazy. But it seems to be working for everyone to have Dr. Connors here. Guess I'll look around. So much to see here. Where do I even start? What's this? Some kind of radiation treatment, maybe? Wonder if this is what they used for Harry's treatment. Let's see what's going on here. Maybe I can help. Oh yeah, that would take a while. I'm not sure there's time to dig in now, but I'd sure like to come back and work on this later. So many cool things here. Looks like Connors is putting the research he did after he lost his arm to good use. Wonder if he regrets testing that serum on himself. It must be unnerving walking around with dormant lizard DNA in your body. 
This is the original prototype from Otto's lab. This would have been crime scene evidence. Wonder how it ended up here. Nice. Seems inspired by some of Otto's work without the hardwiring problems. Wonder if Dr. Connors has used this. Though after that lizard rampage, he may be done testing his work on himself. Yeah. Hey, whenever you're ready, come meet me up here. I'm on my way. I'll see you in a sec. The origins of life on Earth. Recent discoveries of meteorites containing organic molecules considered the building blocks of life may provide a potent clue. so much to explore but i shouldn't keep harry waiting I could do this forever. But I should get to the second floor to meet up with Harry. This is a reminder that today is the last day we are accepting donations for the food drive. Such great stuff here, but it's time to meet Harry. Hey, what are you doing with these bikes? We're working on ultra-efficient batteries, charged by bicycles. These bikes? Can I ride them? Not right now, but when they're road-ready, we'll need people to test them. Nice. I'll try to come back. group decision-making and group locomotion. Swarming is an annual process in which the colony expands and splits. The Emily May Foundation has discovered that specific changes in the honeycomb's vibrational spectra precede a primary swarm. This research will help beekeepers support healthy swarming without invasive observational techniques for optimal health and reproduction in our beleaguered bee population. Drones. Yeah, uh, doing a little cross-collaboration between the energy lab and the agricultural lab. Ultralight drones, using the new battery tech for crop monitoring. Very cool. Do they collect crop data too? They will, if 
by the time we're done with them. That's awesome. Thanks. Cool fish. Not just fish, research subjects. Want to feed them? Yeah. Japanese koi fish have well-studied pigmentation variation, which is ideal for our research into enhanced reflectivity. Stacks of intracellular anhydrous guanine crystals. Separated by cytoplasm, we're finding it very useful for eco-friendly roofing materials. So cool. May would have loved this place. This is a reminder that Dr. Kong's working group will begin in 15 minutes. Thank you. Pardon me. Accelerator? We use it to send proton beams to that treatment room downstairs. It's being repaired right now, but I'll have it back up in no time. Incredible. Where are we heading now? Up to the top floor. Your energy seems really good, Harry. I feel great. So put your way back helmet on and think back. Even before high school. Middle school. Okay. Now, do you know the... Hang on. You're a popular guy. Sorry, it's just my tutoring job. You were saying? You know the stuff everyone studies in middle school with Gregor Mendel and the pea plants? Yeah, I think so. About genetics and plant hybridization? Exactly. So, Dr. Foster up ahead, he's won every top prize in the field for his work with plant genetics. Wow. Hey. When you were walking around, did you have a chance to feed the fish? Yes, that was so great. Interesting research project, and lowers the old cortisol levels, too. Right? I honestly think it's one of my favorite spots in the building. The algorithm is similar to long division, if you look at it that way. Got it. Everything held up, so this way, dude. That's precisely the issue. The accelerator point need a full recalibration. Who's gonna tell me? Not me. Dr. Foster. Thanks, Dr. Foster. Ah, Peter, I presume. Harry talks about you frequently. So nice to meet you. Dr. Foster is working on agricultural efficiency. With the population growing and the climate changing unpredictably, we need to adapt more quickly than nature normally would. 
Genetic recombination can customize crops to best meet these new challenges, be it extreme weather or an increase in pests. Would you like to see this test bed? Okay. The idea is to tweak a plant's genes to maximize optimal qualities. For instance, a plant that can thrive in drought conditions. In our simulation, the goal is to maximize growth. Why don't you practice on this? Okay. Match the base pairs to incorporate as many growth genes as you can. That'll be a plant that can feed the world. Okay, I think I get the hang of it. Great. Now you're ready to try the real thing. This is a plant we're working on to grow well in drought conditions. Corporations patent GMO seeds for profit and are rightly criticized. But ours are open source, developed for sustainability instead of financial gain. So smart. Interesting. One step closer to feeding the world. <laughs> nice work. Listen, I know you're not officially on, but could you look at one more gene for me? Curious to get your take on it. It's a crop specifically adapted to urban gardens. Of course. Beautiful work, Peter. Using this technology, we're on track to end world hunger by 2035. Wow. I know a rooftop you could use for a real world test if you're interested. Oh, very much so. Harry was right. You'll be a real asset here. Thank you, Dr. Foster. So now where? Last stop. Might be my favorite. It's commanding, but not overbearing. Playful, but not tasteless. Impressive, but not show off. Your office. Or is it our office? Harry. Now remember, the things you've seen today are just a small taste of what we're working on. But don't decide just yet, not till you've seen this last thing. Okay. Come on, where's your badge? You'll need it to get in. Uh, where did I put it? Don't tell me you lost it. Nope, false alarm. Right here. Go ahead. Swipe. Wow. Man. Harry. This is all so amazing. It's perfect, really. It's just... Things are really hectic right now. When I was in treatment, all I could think about was, what would I do if I survived? And I kept hearing my mom's voice telling me that our planet is in trouble. And it's my responsibility to save it. If you join me, there's so much more that we can do. I mean, we both know you're the smarter one. <laughs> Come on. Let's make my mom and me proud, huh? It's amazing. But there's one thing. Can I move my desk over there? I like to face the wall when I work. <laughs> <laughs> Quick thing. <laughs> I'm gonna need a little time to transition out of my tutoring job. 
Of course. Take whatever time you need. It's all about balance, right? Yeah. But Coney Island later, yeah? <laughs> you bet. I forgot to tell you, some of our researchers have field experiments set up around the city. If you have time, check them out. I've sent you the location, and your badge will grant you access. All right, I'll swing by. Hey, sorry I didn't get back to you before, but I was... I just got a new job. For real? Well, that's awesome. Where's it at? This new foundation run by my best friend. It's... it's incredible. But I can fill you in later. What's up? The guys who took Lee and Scorpion? Genki and I tracked the exhaust trails from their aircraft to the Williamsburg Bridge. I'll meet you there. Hold on, don't you have an essay to finish? Yeah, but duty calls. Trust me, your duty is to your future right now. I'll keep you updated on anything I... Fine. All right. Good luck out there. Hope Dr. Foster doesn't mind if Spider... Peter, excited to have you on board. We've partnered with your friends at Feast to feed the community, starting by improving our gardens. To help, please collect some samples of nearby plants and put our gene splicer to use. Easy enough. Collect some samples, splice some genes, feed the people. I think I can improve on this. Let's look for the best samples. There has to be a healthy looking plant around here somewhere. with water. I can use that. This one's technically a weed, but the hardiness could be helpful. <gasps> this one's really productive. Lots of fruit. That's perfect. Okay, got some great samples. Time to bring them together. I can't believe that EMF is making these GMOs open source. Profit shouldn't be part of the equation when it comes to basic human necessities. Let's see. Okay, need some... 